Good evening. Well, we are nearly at the end of what's been an intense week of weather. Heavy snow in the greater Victoria area. The white stuff is now beginning to melt away. But not without causing one more morning of commuter chaos. Road crews were out in full force early today, clearing the streets, while people did their best to enjoy another day of pre-winter weather. Astrid Branchman has more on the story. She joins us now live. Astrid. Well, Hudson, the number of people we spoke to today, most of them said that they've enjoyed the snow, but they are ready to see it melt away. Talk about traffic chaos. It was slow going for commuters this morning, especially around Keating Crossroad at the Pat Bay Highway. We've had some stalls and some accidents uh, where the cars have gone off road, so it creates a delay. Police advised drivers to stay off the messy roads, and they did. Ridership aboard BC Transit was up today, but the snow that started falling around 10.30 last night delayed buses too. It's just basically due to the terrain uh, of that area. So number one, there's the, the 59, which travels through Triangle Mountain. That's always difficult for us. Uh, the viaduct, Cordova Bay Hill, those are some areas that uh, do cause problems for transit. Patience is key in this wintry weather. It is, after all, a novelty here on the West Coast. Well, we're cleaning off this ice here so we can have a little shinny game of hockey here. For this shopkeeper, a shovel on the sidewalk is a trip down memory lane. I love the snow. Why is that? Oh, I like to ski and just uh, reminds me of my childhood playing here in the snow. It's fun. Not fun, working a 15-hour shift through the night, salting and plowing the roads while the rest of us were asleep. I've been out to Heartland, West Saanich, Willis Point. It's been snowing like crazy out there. It's been really thick. And it was all night long. It's a lot of plowing, a lot of salting. More plowing now. The district of Saanich maintains 600 kilometers of road. Since Friday, Public Works has used 200 tons of salt and 100 tons of sand on the major arteries. The city of Victoria has already spent more than $100,000 keeping the streets clear. Crews are working from midnight, uh, have been working from midnight on, but we've probably used in excess of 300 metric tons of, uh, of salt. Public Works is replenishing its salt supply in anticipation of the next snowstorm, but there's another challenge on the horizon, possible flooding. It's early afternoon. The snow has obviously stopped and temperatures are now rising above zero. What we're left with is slush and plenty of puddles. Tonight, as the winter wonderland goes down the drain, Public Works is asking everyone to help keep catch basins clear. They are clearing their driveways and, and you know, snow and leaves that don't put them over the catch basins because, uh, you know, that will cause uh, flooding, you know, in, in especially weather like this. Weather, which is turning warm and wet in time for the weekend. Now, people who took the bus to work this morning who are heading home tonight, uh, what you need to know is that the routes that had been cancelled because it was tough to get towards them, uh, those are back in service, but there may still be some delays tonight. So if you're expecting someone, they might be a little bit late this evening. Uh, the good news for all the people who are sick of this wintry weather, uh, temperatures are certainly going to warm up as early as tomorrow, up to about 8 degrees. So it's definitely going to feel a lot warmer tomorrow. Hudson. Well, indeed. Astrid, thank you. You're welcome.